guys, welcome back <clears throat> to another diecast video. This is a car that has been sitting in my closet for almost a year. Uh, if I remember, I might have even ordered it around this time last year, late December 2019. Because I do remember it showing up uh, early January uh, of this year, of 2020. So basically, uh, this time last year, uh, Michael Waltrip went into uh, Plan B sales with a bunch of old cars and trucks that he had. And he signed it with paint pen. He signed all of them. I picked out one that uh, is not in... 164 scale kind of did my research on it because I just wanted you know if I was going to get a 124 scale car I kind of want to make sure that it was you know just personal preference that it was kind of exclusive to 124 so that you know it, it just seems more worthwhile than getting a car that I might end up getting in a smaller cheaper scale later on um so like I said just personal preference on that but this is as you can see I've opened it and can't close it up again but this is a team caliber 2006 number 55 stars and stripes you see it there too on this side kind of just a generic box and let's open it now there's a lot of cool like i said there's a lot of cool cars um, that he signed in paint pen. A lot of them were older ones that I think he said were like sitting in his garage or something. I don't really know how true that is, but you know, I tend to believe that. I tend to believe that just because, you know, these cars kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, and some of them were kind of cool. There was like a, uh, number 47 truck from like 2004 that's kind of cool, but like I said, this is one that I got because it was still available and it was you know it's a car that only team caliber made and it's only in 124 scale so i just thought that was something cool you know this is the only way to get this car sort of thing so that's cool uh here's your authenticity signified by serial starburst hologram this item is certified as an autograph in the presence of a plan b sales employee is recommended that a non-tamper proof hologram sticker not be removed in order to protect the authenticity of the item so it's kind of generic it's kind of similar to the um lionel cards but i'll i'll get that in later this is not a fun box but anyway here is the car itself the front tires kind of move not really that far and there isn't as much uh, detail as there are on like Lionel cars. See, this is just a plastic window net. Um, you can kind of see inside, not really, kind of dark. There's not really as much detail. Although on the passenger side window, you do have some kind of race detail sort of thing. Kind of have where you actually have a, uh, a plug, not a plug, but like a wire, a tube coming through this window here. You see a little circle. And then you see there's actually a, uh, actually it might be separated a little bit, but there is a tube that's supposed to be connected to that. So, or it's supposed to look like it. And then you see a little air vents here as well, where tubes are also attached. So that's actually a detail that Lionel has never done, I don't think. So, that's cool. Uh, trunk doesn't open. Hood, hood does open. There's no roof flaps here. Um, let's see, can I shake this open? Yes, I can. And you have nothing on the bottom. Um, but you do have engine, kind of standard stuff. Not a whole lot. Like I said, this is overall not as detailed as Lionel. There, as I just showed, there are some parts that Lionel doesn't actually have that Team Caliber does. But it's still cool. Like I said, like for all the reasons I mentioned before, the fact that this is the only way to really get this paint scheme. So that's... It's cool. Uh, tires are still rubber. Here's your detail underneath for those who are interested. I don't think... I want to look at the box here real quick. I don't think there's any sort of DIN number. I don't think... I don't know if DIN numbers exist. Um, driver's signature. Um, no, I don't see this. This is a... No, they, okay. I was I was gonna say there's no way this is a Ford. No, it's just showing all of the manufacturers. I think. Um, 
But no, it doesn't look like there's any sort of DIN number. It doesn't look like that exists with these cars. And speaking of manufacture, it doesn't appear. It's not even on the back. I believe this is still a Chevy at this point. Toyota didn't come in until 2007. This is the year Michael Waltrip went away from DEI. Uh, this isn't necessarily his own team yet. It's the 55, but I believe this is a Bill Davis car. And then 2007 is when he started his own team by himself. And even though this isn't Lionel, I just noticed a little something, a little scratchy scratch on the inside of the spoiler. Um, but anyway, here's the most obvious thing. Obviously, the paint pen that I mentioned, the Michael Walter paint pen, uh, my first autographed um, car from him. See the plan B hologram there. So um, as I've mentioned in the past, my ultimate goal Every driver that I've seen race in person, as long as they do have a die cast, I do want to get at least one autographed uh, die cast of each driver that I've seen. And I saw Michael Waltrip at least once, maybe it was only the once, in person, 2008 Pocono. He kind of went in the garage after like 12 laps, but he was there. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if I've, I don't think I've seen him in any other races besides that. Point is, I did see him race at least once, so therefore, there's my autograph. Uh, so on to the final, on to the paint scheme finally after six and a half minutes. Um, this is as it normally is with the stars and stripes. Actually, I have another one from 2002 happened to sit right here just because, <laughs> um, it is somewhat resembling the standard paint scheme, but with stars and stripes that, you know, they call it stars and stripes. So, um, the main color is still that darkish blue, Napa blue. And then you have a huge white star in the front, kind of an outline of it as well. Then you have the same thing, smaller form, two stars on the top of the hood there. And then here you have white with the red lines, kind of outlined by a little yellow. It's supposed to be the stripes of the flag, um, although there's no yellow in the flag. <laughs> And they kind of, the white kind of fades into the blue. The lines keep going to the passenger side window. There's only a little bit of yellow right there for some reason. Have more lines that kind of end there, some of them. Some of them end at the number. Then you have, uh, I guess, what's supposed to be the main part of the flag down here. You have the um, blue with the stars. You kind of see the outline of where the flag is right there. Kind of this little wavy white line. Then you have the stars uh, over there. Then you have the stripes again. You have the red and white. And then out, that flag is outlined by the yellow. Then they kind of fade out again uh, toward the quarter panel. And kind of the same thing up here. Beat post, you have the red, white, and yellow. And then you have that again. Kind of wavy. I assume that's what they were trying to go for. Because you just can see it kind of looks like a mess if you look at it very up close it really does kind of look like a child's art project when you're looking at it really close um but i think it might supposed to be resemble like hey the flag's waving or something i don't know it, it doesn't look great that's all i'm gonna say um and then as i said that kind of fades out once you reach the spoiler the back basically the same thing you have two large stars and then you have what's supposed to be the flag again um then that kind of fades again. And then same thing on this side. Roof. You have a star toward the back of the roof. Star toward the front of the roof. Uh, each side is outlined in the red. The roof might look the best. The top of the car looks the best. Um, then you kind of get to the sides. And it's like, like I said, far away, not bad. Up close, child's art project. So, um, you know. Uh, my personal opinion, obviously. Uh, numbers are white with the red and yellow outlines. Sponsors, you have Napa, Napa Auto Parts, Safe to Clean, Domino's Pizza, Martin, Senior Paints, uh, Best Western. Nothing on the C post or the B post or even the A post. Um, you have Napa Auto Parts in the back along with Sofa Express and more. And then on deck with Sofa Express and more. Can't say I've ever heard of Sofa Express until now. Um, but yeah, that's your Stars and Stripes 2006 
Michael Waltrip, Bill Davis racing car. I believe if I'm if it's the wrong team, then it's whatever. But I think it was Bill Davis racing for one year. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, paint scheme far away, great. Up close, not great. So, uh, but like I said, either way, it was still an exclusive. You know, something that only Team Caliber made, only a 124 scale. So to get it, you know, from a trusted. Uh, dealer like plan b and then to have it autographed in paint pen is really cool so uh that, that's it for me so thanks for watching and i will see you all later